Hi lovelies, welcome to Tina's Fimster Kitchen. Today we are going to make the mushroom stir fry. Yes, if you're a vegan, this is good for you. So let's get started. guys these are the ingredients i'm going to use this is almost vegetables okay yes i'm going to list it on my description box so it will be easy for you to use so i have carrots i'm going to slice the carrot and cut it to the shape that i wanted to use it okay mushroom stir fry okay i have brown mushroom if you have white good for you but i normally use brown mushroom but this brown mushroom tastes so nice when you use it to make this stir fry or use it to cook or that stir fry okay and i have my green paprika i have red yellow okay i just want to show you guys how i like the paprika as well okay so you can slice in your own way so here i have my veggie you can use parsley you can use coriander Here is the ginger and garlic that I'm going to add in the stir fry. I started slicing all of them. I did not uh, pound it or grind it. I sliced everything that I use in making the stir fry. So guys I have my fresh rosemary that's what I'm using to cook if you don't have fresh rosemary you can use normal rosemary the dry one I have onion shallot and white onions I slice it as well so here is the wok that I'm going to use I pour in some oil reduce the burner to the free medium heat so that it will not get burned so I added the garlic and ginger into the oil and start stir frying okay so the next thing we are going to add is the mushroom look at how beautiful the mushroom looks like i'm going to stir fry the mushroom until it gets okay So now the mushroom is done, I remove it from the wok. I'm going to start stir frying the other vegetables. So now we added our onions into the oil and I stir fry the onions about two minutes 
before adding other ingredients. So I added the rosemary, the fresh rosemary into it and stir fry everything. So the next thing I pour in is the carrot, okay? I'm going to stir fry the carrot as well, okay? Because when you stir fry it, it makes the carrot to get soft. The next thing we have here is the celery, okay? Yeah, I slice my celery. Uh, the video is not there. Pardon me, okay. So I added the green, yellow, and red paprika into it as well as the fry. So the next thing we added is the nuts make. So I added nutmeg into it, teaspoon of nutmeg, and stir. So we have our pepper, we added our colorful pepper into it as well. Wow, the food is getting interesting. And we have our scallion. So we added it into it as well so here is my seasoning cube i added the seasoning cube into the stir fry here is the bouillon i added bouillon as well wow this food tastes so nice i use it in eating my rice okay fish and other food so it's very good to eat rice macaroni pasta noodles okay yes so here i'm going to add the remaining spicy so when the stir fry is cooking you don't allow the vegetables to cook too much so i added the mushroom into it and mix everything guys look at how beautiful this mushroom stir fry looks like wow that this brown mushroom tastes so nice guys i love it so much i prefer it more than the white one but the white one serves uh, uh, its own purpose when it comes to white so i added this beautiful cherry tomatoes into it so this one i brought it out from the can okay they have fresh ones at the shop if you don't have cherry tomatoes you can get normal tomatoes and remove the center so here is my vegetable the coriander I added into it. You can add parsley or you can add celery leaves. So it depends on the one you have. So here is the soya sauce. I added the soy sauce into the stir fry because stir fry without soy sauce, mm, it doesn't make so much sense. So I added soy sauce and make everything. Thing. Remember that I reduced the burner to the medium heat so that the vegetable will not cook too much. So guys, this is our mushroom stir fry. What do you think about this food? Okay, just leave on the comment section how you feel about this food. You can see the rice I use in eating the mushroom it tastes so nice but it tastes like you put some protein into it like meat into it it tastes so nice guys so if you haven't subscribed to this extent kindly subscribe guys okay 
support me to support Gina Screenplay Kitchen. Share my video, okay? So that other people will see my video out there. Thank you and God bless you all. So you can see where I'm eating my rice with these mushroom vegetables. Mm -hmm. I don't have meat, I don't have meat, I don't have fish, but you can cook with mushroom and it will give you a very sweet, lovely taste. I love adding mushroom in some of my food because I love it so much. So you can see the tilapia fish that I make. I also use this tilapia fish to eat the remaining mushroom stir fry. <laughs> so guys, this is how I make this delicious, wonderful vegetable. Thank you for always coming to my channel my OGs, you guys are amazing okay so thank you god bless you as always stay tuned for another video okay bye